Hey, how's it going guys? David here and today I'm going to start a new tradition called Three Tip Thursday and basically every Thursday I'm going to make a video and provide you guys with three different tips and the subject will change but for the next few weeks it will most likely be about the Galaxy S21 Ultra. This will also apply to the Galaxy S21 5G and the S21 5G Plus, as well as the Samsung Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus. And just to let you guys know, if you're a more seasoned Samsung user, then you probably already know what I'm gonna show you. But if you have just gotten a Samsung phone and you know you haven't really messed around with the options too much, then I think this video can potentially help you. So let's get right to it. Today's topic will be how to squeeze a little bit more performance and speed out of your Samsung S21 device. So I have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with me. If you don't recognize it, it's probably because I have it in its case right now, but it is the S21 Ultra. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how to just sp speed up opening things in general. Now you can do this by going into your developer settings. I'm not going to get into that. So all you have to do is go to your settings, go down to accessibility, go down to visibility enhancements, and come right down here and click this button right here, remove animations. So what this is going to do is that is it's going to exactly what it says it's going to do, remove all the animations. So now when you open an app, such as, for example, the Google Play Store or your clock, for example, boom, there you go. Opens it up really fast. There is a bit of animations when you close the app, but there's not much when you open. Let's do another one. Let's go into voice recorder. Boom. See how fast that opened? There is no animations. Now, some people like doing this, some people don't. It does speed up your phone a bit, or at least makes it feel a bit faster, but it's up to you. Now, this second tip, some people say it speeds up your phone. Some people say it doesn't really make a difference, but give it a try if you want to, you know, squeeze just a little bit more performance out of your phone, then this might do it. But go down to your icon panel here and scroll over, or you might not have to scroll over, but just find this icon here, Enhance Processing. See that here? And click that. Now, some of you may have to go into more because it might be hidden. If you can't find it, then it's probably somewhere in there. But turn on Enhance Processing. Now Samsung has this turned off by default out of the box to save battery, but you can turn it on and see if it makes a difference for you. Uh, Samsung says it does make a difference. Um, the only thing is, uh, it won't really improve are your games, but um, it should speed up data transmission and retrieval in other apps, or at least that's what Samsung says it does. Now the third thing I want to show you, I'm sure a lot of you already know about. It's one of the main features of this phone and some of uh, Samsung's older phones as well, such as the S20 series. But this is to turn on the 120 hertz refresh rate. Now this doesn't actually speed up your phone, but it makes your phone feel faster. So go into your settings, click display, come down here, and under motion smoothness, make sure adaptive is chosen. So what this does is it really smooths out all the scrolling. So for example, when you're in the Play Store and you're just scrolling through everything, I'm not sure if you can see this on camera because this video is probably 60 hertz. So you're not gonna be able to see it, but it makes scrolling and animations and everything just a lot more smoother and it makes your phone feel faster if it doesn't actually make it faster. But that's it guys. So I just wanted to show you three quick tips. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a like. I'm definitely going to make more, uh, more videos soon. Uh, check back into my channel. Subscribe. That would really help out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Bye.